Washington, D.C. doesn't seem to settle on a clear stance on the Arab-led diplomatic rift with Qatar. President Trump's opinion swayed about three times in less than a week, from mediating to criticizing the Gulf country which hosts two American military bases of funding terrorism. The United States managed all its campaign from Afghanistan to Djibouti from here. And all the enemies want to punish the United States and to punish the, the country, assist the United States. Instead of think, thanking Qatar for all this commitment and this, uh, Qatar accept all these risks, now we accuse Qatar to be uh, in the side of uh, ISIS and of uh, Qaeda. Saudi Arabia, Egypt, UAE and Bahrain, who have severed ties last Monday, say there will be no compromises, while Qatar thinks that they are not fair. It is complicated and I think that it will, will be more complicated in the future. What is this kind of condition? You shut down your, uh, the, the channel of Al Jazeera, but you know we have the right to have our channels, Al Arabiya and others, and you cut relation with Iran, but we have a relation with Iran. Emirat, uh, the Emirat is the first you know, commercial partner of, of, of Iran in all the region. The four Arab nations are campaigning to get more global pressure over Qatar, but Doha is resilient. Analysts here are saying that's mainly because it's a matter of sovereignty. It's about this change and the, the meaning of change, this change in Qatar uh, politics or Qatar a new policy is independence because you know before Qatar was in under the under the wing of Saudi Arabia but since Sheikh Hamad Khalifa uh, rule uh, we have this change to uh, toward a more assertive put, uh, foreign policy and this, you know, development, economic development. Foreign Minister Mohammed Al Thani stressed that Qatar doesn't necessarily have groups and individuals to its terrorist lists simply because others did. The same four Arab countries included some well-known Qatari charity foundations to their terror lists. On the other hand, on Friday, the UN spokesman said that UN programs have established strong partnership with some of these organizations based on regional humanitarian support. The UN is only committed to sanctions listed by its own organs as the Security Council. The UN says that it has not yet received any official correspondence from any of the four countries leading the political rift in Qatari organizations. But as Egypt is currently a non-permanent member in the Security Council, the UN could be their next battleground against Qatar. Adil Mahrouri, CGTN, Doha, Qatar.